biggest guiding decision that we made for right from the beginning was that we were going to hire licensed colorists who were experts and that the most important thing was to understand what our customers needed and desired and actually deserved. And I'll, I'd say the word deserved, right? Like I'm a believer that when you get great customer service, you're like, oh my God, that's amazing versus that's what I deserve. I spend money for something. I, you know, that should come along with the ride, but unfortunately it doesn't usually. So what we did was we hired a group of uh, primarily women. There are some men that are experts. We train them thoroughly on our product. We uh, offer uh, consultative services to every single customer. So when you come on our site, if you want our folks to color match you or help you with tips and tricks or give you feedback or be on, we tell people, we took people as Zappos right from the beginning. Uh, Tony was very gracious and we basically said, we want you to keep, we want to motivate you to do everything you can to make the customer thrilled. We don't want to measure you against short, you know, phone calls. We don't want to measure you against how many people can you go through a day. The return on investment for us is thrilled customers that will rave about the company, love their product and feel satisfied. And the other thing we did is we didn't outsource our call center, nor will we. We put them right in our office, right in the same room so that all of us could hear exactly what was happening. People here listen into phone calls. I read every single customer service interaction. Yeah, many of us read every customer interaction that happens. Um, and it's been day. like that from the beginning? It's been like that from the beginning. I mean, I get hundreds of them a day. I read every single one. Wow. You know, I give feedback in a positive way. If something seems like in any way it's off the rails, I personally email the customer. I pick up the phone and call canceled customers all day long and say to them, hey, I'm not calling you to try to get you back. I'm calling you because anything you could tell us is a gift. And so the, the whole theory here is if you have the courage to listen, they will tell you everything. If you want to be defensive, if you want to stand on your laurels that your customers, your, your, you know, your product is awesome and it's the customer's fault, you will inevitably fall into the trap of, you know, eating your own dog food, you know, <laughs> and, you know, basically it's just not, it doesn't work that way. You can always improve. And so the greatest gift is, you know, we do focus groups, what, every other week on Google Hangouts, we're doing one tonight, you know, with uh, one-time buyers, subscribers, people that bought and canceled, people that never bought. And we're just obsessed with understanding our customers. We call it voice of the customer. You know, our color crew, which is our call center, is empowered. They are in, they are the secret sauce of this company. And that is, you know, we understand that. And they're oftentimes in companies, call centers are relegated to the, you know, that's the lowest level job. You know, we, we just don't believe that. We believe that they are the, they're, they're the reason this company is going to succeed. Yeah. And I, I think that they understand that we want to know what's going on and we want to help fix things immediately if there's a problem. And so that, you know, while initially it may have felt threatening for so many people to be kind of exposed to the conversations, um, that ultimately what happens is, is that people read them and both call out successes to them. So, you know, we're also routinely like noticing some fabulous uh, either phone call or email exchange or chat exchange that someone has and share it out with the whole team to make sure everybody hears about it. Um, and then if we notice some kind of issue that they may be afraid to raise for whatever reason, um, they don't have to be afraid to raise it because we raise it. And that empowers them to then, of course, raise other things. Um, that love, not fear thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so uh, and it's, you know, it's, there's just no better way to say it than it's simply, it's just all about the customer. I mean, that is just what business is about.